Hello everyone, and welcome, welcome back to Pixark, where we are clinging to survival literally on the edge of a cliff, surrounded by things that want to eat us. And we have finally reached the point, my friends, where I think I want to eat them. Yes, we have begun to get that desperate. I am apparently starving to death. I don't know what to do. I am chewing through all of my berries, literally in the handfuls. I need to cook something. I, I need to survive. I have a very cranky Dilophosaurus who has been trying to break into my home and come and eat me. And he has not yet been successful, but I'm beginning to wonder if it's only a matter of time. And I also need something to eat. And I happen to have a whole lot of truffles, but I need a bottle or a bag of water in order to eat those truffles. And that means that we are going to have to go hunt something that drops leather. So we're really, we're really, really, really getting to the edges of survival. I'm also really cold because apparently it is just constantly... Uh, uh, uh. Apparently it is just constantly snowing here unexpectedly. In fact, look, I, literally as I say that the snow begins. <laughs> I am eating whatever berries we can find. No, no. Get out of here, you, you, you mean jerk. Okay, hang on. I've got to make this happen. <gasps> yes, okay, we got leather guys. Thank goodness, that mean jerk may have actually just saved my life. All right, let's do this. We are going to craft up a leather water bag. So let's do that really quickly. Uh, can be used to contain a large amount of water. Be careful as it, as it is leaky and we'll need, who knows? That's unfortunately lost to the mystery of whatever, whatever this world has to say. So let's run for it. We're gonna go towards the water. There is some water right over here, just like all of the wild creatures who struggle for survival and often have to rely on going over to water holes. Here we are in the same situation. Uh, hopefully, look, there's some more berries I can eat. Whew, those Tinto berries. I am just chowing down on them as we run, staving off the like vestiges of starvation there. Uh, let's come down here. Let's go ahead and get some water. Can I somehow, how am I gonna get this water? Do I, okay, water bag empty. How do I use the water bag? Uh, no, I don't think that's how we use the water bag. Wait, do I come into the water and use the water bag? It will need to be refilled from time to time. So how does one go about refilling her water bag? Probably not by putting down the wrong item in it. I think I remember being told one time how to get water, but I can't remember. <gasps> come on, yeah, water bag consumable. It'll be need, need to be refilled from time to time. Am I activating it now? Maybe? Perhaps? That's so interesting. I'm, I'm remembering that the little tutorial gave you advice on how to get water. I am here! Let me drink already! I need the deep water. I need the, the water. Okay, I'm breaking bones or something? How did I break a bone? What have I done to myself? What have I done that is so bad? Okay, this is ridiculous. How do I drink some water? Huh. Apparently all I'm supposed to do is stand here with the water bag and it will somehow magically refill itself. Maybe. Don't eat me, whatever you are. Curious creature coming to see me. Please don't eat me. You look like you would want to eat me. Everything wants to eat me in this world. Come on. Ah. What? Oh, whoa! Did that sauropod just lay an egg? Is that an egg over there? Oh my gosh, can I go get that? Oh, <gasps> she stepped on something! Look at that! I think something was messing with her and she messed with it. Nice! Maybe I can get some more leather. Oh my gosh, there are so many eggs here. What is this? Is this some sort of like Easter egg event? What is going on? There are so many eggs! But alright guys, so I actually drowned in the water while I was trying to figure out how we could go ahead. Uh, just got some meat there for who knows what reason. Just gonna casually- Oh, Geronodon! That was her nest! She's mad now! Oh my gosh, no! Oh my gosh, 
they will attack if you steal their eggs. Oh, did you know that? I didn't know that. That's the first time I've learned that. Oh, it just feels like all I am doing is dying. It's kind of amazing, because the first couple episodes I was doing just fine. And now it's just death followed by more death on top of death. And I'm not really sure what I'm doing anymore. Uh, so we're going to continue on. I need to hurry. We're going to run all the way back to my home spot. I need to make a bed, which means getting more leather. So today, my friends, is definitely going to be the day of poking things with sticks. And I cannot for the life of me, and this is very frustrating, figure out how to refill the water bag. I made a water bag. I'm holding the water bag, but I cannot... It, apparently it's a consumable item and I cannot actually do anything with said water bag. So I'm not exactly sure what to do about that. And let's just jump casually over here. We're gonna run past this coyote or you know what? You know what? What level are you coyote? Cause I'm kinda, I'm in the need. Oh, that's a level 30. Never mind. I was gonna say I'm kind of in the need of more leather. I'm feeling pretty desperate. I'm dying every couple minutes anyway. Uh, I'm, I'm ready to fight. I'm ready. I'm willing to fight. I will be completely honest. <laughs> when I first started, I was not so sure if I ever wanted to fight. And now after dying so many times, can I shove this guy off the cliff? Yeah, take that. Take that, buddy. Oh, he can spit at me. He ran for it. Coward. <laughs> not that I want to provoke him any further. <laughs> All right, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and get up out of here. Don't mind me, don't mind me. And then let's go ahead and get my pokey stick back out. And I do need to actually use some of the leather I had that is now where I, oop, oh, oop, oh, easy there, easy there, ma'am, easy there. Oh, that tell could definitely spell my doom. Please give me a little personal space. <laughs> but let's jump up here. Let's go back over to where my body yet again is now stored. And let's see if I can figure out where to go from here. So I need to poke a few things with my poking stick so that I will be able to gather up some leather. I'm very frustrated because my water bottle just doesn't work. I, I made it, I ran over to water, nothing happened. It remained completely empty, much to my frustration. Look at the size of that egg. I wish I could get that egg. Let's go ahead and take all. Is the egg still in here? Probably. We're gonna, we're gonna go ahead. Oh my gosh. No, 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 I don't want to make a new survivor. I don't want to make a new survivor. <gasps> okay, I learned never to mess with their eggs. Noted. <sighs> All right, my friends. I think it's time to admit that I'm going to have to start breaking out the big guns. And by the big guns, I mean cooking up some of the meat that we happen to have inside of our inventory. So I apologize for all of the chaos so far. It has been so confusing to figure out what to do, but I think I have a little bit of a clear idea now. So what we are going to do is we are going to go ahead and we are going to leave behind all of the really precious things like this Tronodon egg I died many times for. and. For now, the sleepy arrow, perhaps? Because we only have a primitive bow, and I really want to keep the sleepy arrow uh, for use later. And then I'm also going to leave behind a bunch of this fiber so that we don't just waste it by me, like, completely destroying everything. And let's leave behind some of this wood, because that would definitely be good to have backups of. And I should probably leave behind... Can I make a few more? Can I make another one of these small inventory boxes? Because that would be amazing. Let's find out. All right, so yes, I can. All right, so let's go ahead and craft another one. And we're gonna make some, we're gonna go get some rocks so that we can have a, oh, I guess a feed pot isn't really what we need. Um, And we couldn't really, with the cooking pot, we couldn't really make any cooked meat if I remember. So we need to make the campfire and then we should be able to make some cooked meat and at least have the cooked meat to survive off of for a little while. And then I'm going to really start setting my goals on survival because this is getting ridiculous. It was cute and fun to die a few times as it always is, but uh, I really, I want to survive better. 
I want to survive better. And we need a water reservoir, it turns out, to even be able to use the water container that I have. So I literally cannot... Oh, look, you can make a little fruit display stand. So yeah, I literally cannot even make the uh, soup, the mushroom soup that I thought I could. Because first I have to make a water reservoir, and then from the water reservoir, I will actually be able to fill up the water bottle. So... Hopefully very soon here. We will be at level 20. So it's just kind of like soldiering on with the levels Being very patient and leaving behind all of my goods because I'm going to die a few times So let's go grab some more rocks so that I can cook some meat so that we can hopefully survive another day um, mm, Some of these berries I could actually go ahead and eat Let's leave the meat here in case I die again uh, I guess I can leave the snow here. We have a few rocks, but I need a lot more. We'll leave some of these things, all of our foundation and stuff like that. Uh, and let's see, that should be, we'll leave some of the flint too, just because I've, I've worked hard to collect that. Something tells me I might be about to die a lot. There's no zombies though. Honestly, I really thought there would be more zombies after our first run in with one. So let's come over here. I still have this little clutch of dodos. Ooh, that's that's death. That's some death. That's some death, all right. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Come on, stab him. Are you not stabbing him? Oh my gosh. Why won't she stab him? I'm gonna die on this next run. Ah, uh, I need better weapons. We're about to rage quit pretty soon here. <sighs> you know what? I just emptied my inventory. So we might as well look at that as a positive thing because now I can just straight up run for one of these big chasms. I've already been gathering some stone around here anyway. Let's just make this an exploration. So sorry I've been so cranky guys. I was like, yeah, we're finally making progress. We're gonna build our little house. And I thought we would actually be able to do something and then I just keep dying. And I just keep dying and I just keep dying and I haven't even tamed anything yet So I think we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna try to get some more leather which requires really having in my opinion better weapons So we're just gonna pick berries until the day has come <laughs> And we are going to do what we can to like defend ourselves. That's a level 48 coyote not gonna happen We'll run along Let's see. What level are you? Also, is that my death spot? Was I really that close to home? Apparently, oh my gosh. Yeah, well that's not too terrible. That's not too terrible. All right, let's not let the sauropod step on me. Um, all right, good, good, good. Yeah, look, there's my little house. Oh, and I did do some damage to that guy. So maybe I can stab him a few more times and get a whole bunch of leather. So let's head back home and we're gonna see what we're going to do about this, this bat who's trying to eat me. I think he's coming for a second round. Sure enough, she's coming. Okay. Okay, got her. Got her. Hang on. No, that was me. Get her. Okay, I think I got her. She's level 34, so this is just going to be death. This is just going to be my death. Oh, I got her! No way! And she gave me a tiny bit of leather and I am literally broken boned, clawing my way back home. I did not expect to win that, but I did. I am so proud right now. I am going to have to take it really easy until we get home. This is the part where nothing needs to show up and attack me. Oh no, and I'm gonna have to go the long way around home. But yeah, I'm so sorry. I was pretty cranky this time, guys. I should not have been. It's just all in fun and games, and I do completely, utterly fail at what we've been trying to do so far. But I'm learning, and honestly, this always works better for me than just like taking all of the advice and comments. It's just like Subnautica. I'm having a fun time as long as you guys can be patient, so apologies. But I think what we're going to do is we're really just going to focus on traveling and exploring for a little while and hopefully gathering up enough leather 
But if I can put down a bedroll at least, we will sleep at the bedroll is my hope. Uh, or maybe just every time you die, you end up completely back at a respawn point. In which case, we're just going to focus on the adventure of it all. After all, if we're gonna just keep dying, you know, we're just, we're gonna die our way through leveling up. That's just the way it is sometimes. <laughs> All right, let's get this tree. There's plenty of ruins to start exploring. So I think even if it is dangerous, we'll start exploring the ruins. And I am going to, like I said, try to make that bed. So if I do die, fingers crossed, we'll at least level up in a good spot. All right, we need not to have some of the other predators to realize that I am a weak creature. Completely, like, my bones were broken. The vampire bat literally almost killed me by some fluke. I managed to stab her a few times and save myself. Hopefully all of the uh, the more powerful creatures won't realize that and eat me. All right, almost leveled up. Come on, trees. Give me your levels. Thank you so much. I really need it right now. And there is death waiting between me and home. I see its red eyes shining in the distance, but we're almost there. It's not like we really have that much that we would really want to collect from that particular that particular death box. I'm just gonna start calling them my death boxes. But yeah, I was just sweating it too much. There's no point in getting upset. This is hard, that's fine. We'll continue to explore. The more I level up, the better we'll do. And pretty soon here, once we can start doing some smelting, I can start going deeper into the caves, which sounds amazing. And to be able to fight back against the things that eat me with some proper weapons, that will be more like it. Like, look at this. I think this is a big patch of iron, literally right here in front of my house. <laughs> So clearly it was meant to be. All right, let's level up one more level and then I'll stop being sassy pants and focus on just getting some stuff done. And we'll also make a little, a little climbing area to make it easier. There we go. To make it e uh, How many specimen implants do I have now? Oh no. But we will make a little climbing area to make it easier to get down into the cavern as well. But let's just casually... Uh, can I just casually level up gathering up? Yes! All right, leveled up gathering up some thatch. I feel slightly better about myself. Still have that little clutch of dodos nearby. Now I can safely scurry into my home, which apparently I can start repairing perhaps, but it's amazing how such a simple house has actually saved our lives many times over by now. So I'm very grateful to it. Uh, what does it take to make some more arrows? Because if I had some arrows, instead of having to wait there with okay definitely need the rock mortar and pestle and we need a lot of the flint so i can make a lot of arrows so next time loading up on a ton of arrows and making sure that we can actually start grinding the levels and getting some things done including if i'm correct level 18 we're getting closer and closer to being able to actually have some semi decent tools which i think will really it, it will a uh, terror bird saddle oh my gosh i think an ore detector yeah, there's plenty of fun things I haven't even made. <gasps> We're going to make, we are going to make a flower pot because that will make me feel so much better. So, all right, that's the spirit. That's the spirit. Adventure, I mean, we've hardly even explored this map. We'll just start running around in circles and going out there to see what the land has to offer. Not really sure, especially in such early access, if I want to focus on building up like a gigantic castle of amazingness that we never leave. But I could definitely, I could definitely get behind a whole bunch of little research huts, and uh, we'll we'll find out. We'll we'll see. I just don't want to die anymore. That's getting annoying, and and that's a good thing because it means I might start getting serious. No pun intended. Huh. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.